an often neglected uh, step in installing pulleys is to make sure that the derailleur hanger is straight. Now, uh, in this particular one, we want to go ahead and uh, turn off this little clutch. It's going to make it a lot easier to remove the derailleur. And you, all you need to do is uh, undo this bolt right here. And just to draw your attention to this, you know, these Shimano, these newer Shimano derailleurs like the R8000, 9100, they have like that short dog bone link and then the derailleur flies off from there. This particular one has this proprietary setup with this uh, through axle, but it's still the same uh, basic uh, system. And somebody had the foresight here to, to make sure that this bolt right here was, uh, was the uh, proper diameter and thread pitch for us to be able to use our a standard derailleur hanger straightener. And in this case, we are going to use a uh, Park Tools DD, uh, DAG 2.2. These are very inexpensive and uh, they do a great job. And I've been using this one for years. So uh, the first thing you need to do in this aspect is to screw it in without cross-threading it. And uh, make sure that this wheel is uh, straight. You, if this wheel is not true, you need to true it before you can use it to touch off on, obviously. Because what we're trying to do here is uh, we're making sure that this derailleur hanger is uh, straight so that the derailleur can operate uh, in its um, proper parameters because it's located in space correctly. Now this one is is uh, dead on, but if it needs to be adjusted, it's kind of like a, it, it seems kind of crude, but you just kind of tweaking it a little bit. And uh, you better kind of bump it. You don't want to make any kind of like gross adjustment because uh, it's going to snap off in a heartbeat. So if you, uh, once you get this thing nice and straight and you've touched off all the way around in a couple of spots on the same spot on the brake track, you know it's nice and straight. You can go ahead and disconnect this and reinstall the derailleur. Now uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of grab it like that and uh, let's see if I can actually do this in one take. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that bolt right in there like that and it's absolutely essential that you get it lined up properly because you do not want to cross thread this bad boy or once again uh, it's going to start messing up your day something fierce so go ahead and give that a little give that a little tweak right there nice and tight and uh and then from there you can just go ahead and adjust the uh gears as necessary